Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Surviving Mars, uh, Inventive India. Now, uh, last time around, uh, some real progress uh, occurred with uh, a bunch of stuff. Uh, we're uh, upgrading our mo hole, and uh, yeah, so basically, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure we're at the point where um, we're not going to have too much trouble with... Uh, well, much of anything. Um, what's this? Um, uh, right. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Um, so we're not going to have trouble with much of anything here. Uh, we've got um, stacks of... Uh, um, well, uh, colonists. I uh, know we uh, we do need a uh, population to um, uh, grow a bit. So I think I was uh, looking at another dome. Yeah, I think I was going to be looking at uh, putting up another dome, and then uh, getting started with uh, with some. Um, you know, what's this stuff? Oh, that's just uh, rocks. You know, getting started with some uh, terraforming, I think. Now, uh, what I'm going to start with here, uh, I'm going to uh, do some flattening. Um, and I'm going to... do. Yeah, uh, I forgot to hold shift. Right. Uh, okay, well, let's um, try that again. Flatten. Uh, do this. Uh, dope. Um, try that again. Right. That. Yup. And we go like this. And we hold shift. Then we go like this, and like this. And then we can come across here, and then we can fill this in. Uh, right. Oh, we've got atomic accumulator. Uh, okay, so, yeah, we've got some uh, research to do. Uh, and uh, uh, we'll uh, definitely need to do that. Um, right, okay, so... So that's going to, what are you? Uh, you're an automated explorer, right. Okay, so uh, with the mohol, uh, we're not going to run out of uh, metals or rare metals um, because, well, we've got lots of them, right? Um, uh, you know, because we don't need a deposit for that, right? It just keeps, uh, keeps on ticking. Uh, now, here we've got lots of, uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to put a uh, put the the new dome right here. Now, uh, what domes do I have? I don't have the mega dome, so maybe I want to go for gravity engineering. Uh, do I have gravity engineering? Uh, it is there. Let's put that at the start, even though it's 20k uh, research. Uh, we don't have uh, any particular reason not to do that. Because uh, then, then we've got a lot more space in the dome when we build it. And that's uh, definitely going to be beneficial. And then I'll, uh, I'll uh, run a uh, passage from uh, this dome over here. And uh, I'll uh, also run a passage from this one over. Uh, that will mean uh, relocating one of these uh, apartment uh, structures, right? Uh, we got plenty of uh, living space, right? Uh, so uh, we've also got some bio robots, right? So uh, uh, we're, we're producing uh, bio robots as well. So uh, that's uh, going to solve our population problem uh, in the long term. So uh, what I want to do is go over here and let's just look around here. Now, can we exchange technologies? Um, 
yeah, we'll do that. Now, there's no reason not to trade technologies to the uh, uh, to the um, uh, to the um, uh, AIs um, to the other. Oh, right, we just traded with them. Uh, uh, there's no reason not to because they don't directly compete with you. Uh, Mars is a big place and they just don't get in your way. Uh, so yeah, it, it, there's no no reason not to um, uh, uh, trade with them and it just helps your uh, research. Like uh, Martian born ad uh, adaptability is great for uh, training specialists. Uh, we have a university here. Uh, I think we do somewhere. We must have. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, so we need. Um, yeah, so we're training people. So you know that's good. Uh, right. Uh, so what I'm <clears throat> what I'm going to do is uh, up the tempo here. Um, now, uh, since we have the space elevator and we have the mo hole, we're just about to the point where we can't possibly lose. Uh, right now, our only uh, possible uh, problem is if I screw up and uh, we end up with a uh, complete collapse of the population. Uh, in, in the meantime, we'll just keep scanning, deep scanning everything. <clears throat> And that will uh, definitely, um, definitely, um, uh, potentially gain us something. Uh, now, I definitely do want to get uh, some. Uh, um, uh, what's this? Capture meteors? No. Uh, I definitely want to get some uh, terraforming going. So, uh, definitely will. Um, We'll get uh, some stuff up on that front. So based on that, terraforming. What have we got here? We can build a lake. Nope. No, I don't think we want to do that. Well, we got lots of water. We could... Nope, we can't build lakes. We haven't researched the tech yet. Okay. Uh, so... Once we get uh, get the uh, gravity engineering and we can build a ginormous um, what you who's it, uh, then uh, you know then we can definitely uh, you know what I think I should uh, schedule some drones. Yeah. I'm going to schedule a bunch of drones in here. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Um, now, uh, the bio robots are important at this point uh, as well. Uh, you know, they're, they're basically people. Uh, they eat and whatever, but they don't die of old age. Uh, so, um, now, uh, whether that means they become seniors and never die, or um, what do we got here? Uh, we got two homeless and 80, 80 residential. <laughs> really? Um, yeah. Okay, so this hasn't... Uh, well, this is... Uh, okay, yeah, we're, we're still clearing it here. Uh, now, let's... Uh, I just want to check in on here. Uh, yeah, because we're going to probably work through the bio robots first. So, yeah, and that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, what's, uh, what's this guy? Um, he is um, traits, bio robot. Okay, yeah. So we got bio robots uh, working here. And, uh, you know, that's fine. Uh you know that that's that's perfectly fine uh so basically as long as uh, we have enough um bio robots <laughs> in the colony uh, we don't need to worry about uh any more uh importing people from anywhere uh and that's um 
that's kind of cool actually uh, and this is actually the first time I've uh, done any amount of bio robots as I'm usually struggling for um, uh, electronics and uh, we're producing 10 of them per sole and only using two and a half so I uh, you know and we've got a, a huge uh, pile of uh, rare metals uh, and we're producing 75 uh, uh, metal per turn so or per sole so it, you know we're we're only consuming 45 so yeah uh, we should be we should be pretty good there now something I uh, want to want to do at some point is uh, replace the power production with uh, a sterling generators and uh, you know wrapped in a triboelectric scrubber but even so, uh, sterling generators, once they're built, only require polymers for maintenance when, when they're open. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so this here, um, this needs fixing. Uh, right, yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, so the landscaping is uh, progressing. Um, now, I think maybe... Uh, we should uh, stash a drone hub right about here. That just seems like it might be uh, helpful. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, we already long since finished the mystery in this, uh, uh, this playthrough. Uh, wait concrete extractor uh, is oh we have too much concrete right okay that's fine uh, so what what I need to do uh, for that well I could just um, go in here uh, and uh, go into depot and uh, make a concrete depot and stash it there and the drones spring into action and uh, our buildings are now operational again right uh, so let's just uh, look in on here uh, 23 bio robots in the queue And we've just about got the full amount of uh, electronics to queue up all the drones as well. Uh, yeah, so our uh, population is uh, increasing, and uh, you know, and and bio robots count as uh, Martian-born, so that's uh, that's cool as well. Okay, so we've got a thing there. Uh, we've got an explorer heading over there to uh, explore it. Now let's um, go take a boo in here. Uh, we're not outsourcing anything. Let's outsource. Yep, there we go. Uh, and that will get us uh, through to gravity engineering faster. Uh, we uh, have unemployed people and 20 vacant work slots. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that's working. Uh, probably because they can't get to the work slot from their home. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, uh, let's take a look. Food production is good because we have the, the ranches. Yep, okay. Uh, so we should be okay. We've got a cold wave coming. Well, that might be a slight challenge. Um, now, do we have... Oh yeah, we have sterling generators over here. Now, can we actually build them? Uh, power. Sterling generator. Yeah, we can. So, uh, so we're going one, two. We'll go three out from the. Yeah. So we'll build a few of them, and one, two, three, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. And over here. And we have one, two, three. 
<clears throat> yeah, okay, good. I'll build a, a stack of them more. <clears throat> Uh, because we're generating 30 power with the plutonium core upgrade on them. And, uh, oh, we got new text for research. Uh, creative fusion auto regul. Oh, fusion auto regulation. That's, um, I think that, uh, that requires fewer, um, fewer, um, workers to, um, I keep the, pl the fusion plants running, uh, but uh, actually the tribe, the um, 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 Sterling generators with a tribal electric scrubber is uh, it is a much better uh, power source because it doesn't require a labor force. Uh, we've got Earth sick colonists, uh, and that's fine. Uh, we don't need them. Uh, Right, now, uh, ooh, okay, uh, well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to build the plutonium core, uh, right, uh, that's going to, uh, put a severe damper on our uh, polymer availability, um, and that's um, that's fine. Uh, right, okay, uh, we've got a gap here. Um, so when this here uh, research is done, I'll build the mega dome here, uh, and then uh, then we'll be able to uh, to just uh, drop uh, connections in there and. Uh, and maybe put a second uh, polymer polymer factory there, polymer factory there. So we're producing 21 polymers. Yeah, uh, probably breakthrough. Uh, Project Phoenix. When a colonist dies, there's a 50% chance. Oh, well, we'll grab that. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, close that. Uh, cold wave in five hours. Uh, low storage in polymers. Uh, that's fine. We're producing a, a, a decent amount of those. And I think, uh, it won't be too, too long. It'll be able to, uh, up the production even more. Uh, let's check in on these guys. Uh, 15 more bio robots, uh, tootling along there. So, yeah. Um, so let's uh, go look in the dashboard here. Uh, uh, Quirk Bio Robot. Uh, bio Robot. Yeah. Um, so we have quite a few of them. Uh, one, two, three. So we've got something like 40 of them. So, you know, that's, um, uh, what's this? Uh, is that comfort? Uh, four. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, back. Okay close. Right. Uh, so we've got a stack of bio robots, which is enough to uh, generally keep the uh, colony uh, or to be able to for the colony to recover uh, if all of the natural born people stop reproducing or something. Um, so we've got um, a workforce of uh, uh, two... Yeah, 230 or so, or roughly. Uh, so, yeah. Um, 
Right, so this here, uh, we still need a fair chunk in uh, the the upgrades, right? So, uh, yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a little while. Uh, we got plenty of power during the cold wave. Uh, interesting enough, the mohole doesn't freeze. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, now, I could, uh, you know, build some subsurface heaters. Uh, they do uh, dramatically reduce power usage during a cold wave. Uh, but the cold wave is only, you know, two and a half sols. So with that, there's no particular reason I need to. Uh, you know, like I've got enough water production, enough O2, enough uh, power uh, storage to last a little while. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not a big issue. Uh, and once uh, all of these are updated or upgraded, um, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open them all. There we go. So that's even more power. And, uh, you know, and then they'll uh, get their uh, extra power production when the uh, uh, polymers catch up. So, yeah, uh, that's. Uh, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seventeen. So that's like thirty-five of those. Uh, thirty-five times thirty. Uh, you know, so that's you know thirty thirty times that's nine hundred and five thirties. So this is over a thousand power right here, and our total demand on the grid uh, is 1115 so uh, yeah um, so what I'll be able to do is start getting rid of uh, these other things here that suck up maintenance right uh, you know I'll, I'll probably build one more ring of these uh, and then you know I can start getting rid of things you know these stacks of uh, of uh, wind turbines, right, uh, which uh, just sit there taking up uh, maintenance resources, uh, which, uh, you know, quite frankly, uh, there's, uh, what, uh, I want to go here. If I salvage this, yeah, that's what I thought it would do. What did I... Oh, that's fine. Um, right. Uh, I want to go in here, power, uh, cable, and I want to go here. Like that. Um, right. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, so what I can do is uh, just go in here and fill in this gap uh, because my, uh, you know, uh, OCD on shapes will uh, require me to do that. Uh, right, so we are ca caught up on polymers. So, yeah, that's good. Uh so it'll be 36 here. Um, so it'll be four, four times six. So another 24, I think, to go around. So yeah, that'll be uh, way lots of power. Uh, uh, yeah, that that's the, so you know Sterling generators are actually uh, really good. And polymers are basically the easiest um, resource to uh, to uh, manage uh, because you just need uh, what's this further expansion da, 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 da. 
all religions get morale boost. Um, um, yeah, we'll go with that one. Uh, right. Uh, so, uh, we've got, uh, you know, a continue. Oh, we got lots of children coming in as well. Okay. Who died? Oh, it was a suicide. Uh, right, okay. Cold way, 14 hours. Four earth sick. Uh, water towers and tanks are offline because they're frozen, which is fine. Uh, right. Uh, but we got 260 power and it's night. Uh, right. Uh, so, um, I'm going to need to accumulate a bunch of polymers, so... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. So. Uh, so th this should be a thousand and and eighty power or something like that here. A thousand power here. So uh, that's uh, and it's all within the uh, range of a triboelectric scrubber, uh, which means none of this uh, should need uh, substantial maintenance in here. Uh, so yeah, uh, great. How are you guys doing? Uh, six more bio robots to uh, build. Uh, we've got. Uh, what are you? You are. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, uh, what are you... Okay, so... Right. Uh, well, anyway. Uh, that's... Um, uh, right. Um, okay, so we're uh, closing in on the gravity engineering. Uh, so I can go back in here and we can uh, do this again. Yep, okay. We're outsourcing. Yay. Um, now, um, yeah, because I want to get that dome underway, and that's going to require boatloads of polymers, which we can happily produce. So, you know, that's not a problem. Let's take, take a look here. Machine parts. We're producing enough of them, and it doesn't matter. Um, what we should do is this. And we should upgrade that, and we should close the night shift, and then uh, what have we got? We got over here. Uh, factory AI is on, and uh, this one, no, uh, this one is building, right, and this. One is no. We need to build. We need to add that, and that's on. Okay, yeah. Uh, right now, let's uh, check in over here. Uh, we've got uh, yeah. We're uh, training people at a uh, rate, uh, you know, uh, because you know everything happens at a rate. Now, uh, is there anything exciting up here that we can do? Uh, contact. Exchange. Okay. Um, contact. Exchange. Okay. Contact. Exchange. Nope. Okay, so that's a couple more texts. Uh, Right. Okay, that's not a bad one. Uh, good. Uh, right now we. Uh, oh, we're just about to get gravity engineering. Um, yep. Yeah. So. Uh, right. Why is there a lump there? Okay, we got gravity engineering. Let's uh, tool in here. Uh, now. Uh, what have we got here? Field extractors, uh, high-power jets, Martian network, 
uh, compact hangers. Yeah, it could be good. Um, that could be good. Uh, that could be good. But really, uh, what's this? Uh, cloning, yeah, not so useful. Uh, let's take a look through these. We're going to need to do that. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, we're going to want that. And uh, right. Um, vegetation grows faster, artificial lakes, domeless farming, carbonate preprocessor. Um, yeah, we'll grab that as well. Okay, uh, so uh, that's the uh, next major step here. Now I'm going to uh, go back in here, flatten, um, T, we'll make that big. Uh, okay, so now we'll uh, come over here. Uh, yeah, um, that's not that's kind of not what I wanted to do. Now we'll um, uh, try that again, and we'll uh, make that more sensible in size, and we'll do this, and we'll do this. Uh, I must have missed a couple of squares in the middle when I was uh, setting that up, uh, which is fine. Uh, right. And we'll come over here. Yep. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll flatten that out, uh, that area, because it wasn't properly flattened before. Now, uh, now what do we need? Uh, we're getting rid of a stack of waste rock, right? Uh, okay, so what if I put uh, storage, uh, large dumping site, right here? Uh, yeah, that uh, that should be uh, should be good. Now we're. Um, we're researching hanging gardens. Oh yes, that will uh, that that's a great spire. Uh, how's this doing? Um, oh yeah, lots of children coming in. Uh, what are you doing? You're building drone prefabs now. Yay! Uh, right. Okay. Um, we got a meteor storm coming in a sol and a half. Uh, this here uh, is uh, removing waste rock, which is, you know, quite useful. Uh, right. We got way more concrete than we need for anything. Uh, we have way more power than we need for, uh, for anything. Uh, so we're good. Good there. Um, right. What's a sterling generator need to build? Uh, power. Uh, sterling generator eight uh, yeah eight polymers and four uh, components okay so that's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah it's 24 uh, so 24 times eight 160 and so 192 so I need 192 polymers to build that ring and uh, 96 um, yeah uh, uh, electronics okay so electronics isn't the problem and polymers are building up at uh, an alarming rate of uh, 16 per sol so yeah that's uh, not gonna be a problem and this will take a moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to queue up the Sterling generators. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 23, and I will, of course, fix up the power cable U to there, exactly like that. Uh, yeah. Okay, power cable's built. Now I can go over here and get this one out of the way, just like that. And I can put the last, uh, cue the last Sterling generator up. Sterling generator, there we go. Now, those will uh, tick along getting built in the background. Uh, and then uh, I'll start uh, removing the uh, the other um, uh, power generation because uh, going we, you know, we had 36 of those before um, so that's 18 and yeah it was 36 uh, so 36 and 24, you know, that's 60 of them, right? Uh, so that's like 1800 power. And uh, that's, uh, quite frankly, um, quite, a, um, quite a lot, uh, considering our uh, grid demand is uh, under 1000, right? So... Uh, well, at least that's what the production will be once they're all built, right? Uh, anyway, uh, uh, what's this have to say? We only need, we don't need any geologists. Uh, we're down to needing seven botanists and eight engineers and nine medics. Okay, yeah. So that's not too bad. Uh, how's this doing? Um, slowly. Uh, right, okay. Uh, uh, what's this doing? It's uh, producing concrete. Yeah. Uh, uh, how's what's this doing? Uh, waste rock consumption uh, seventy-two. Waste rock production thirteen. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, that doesn't seem like it's right. Uh, anyway. Uh, good. Uh, so as uh, as things go, uh, we're uh, just about done with hanging gardens. Uh, so you know that's a. As I said, it's a pretty good spire. Uh, anyway, oh, we got a dust storm coming, so you know the Sterling generators should be good there because uh, they work even in the dark and so on. So, anyway, uh, but uh, that's uh, going to be where I, I leave. Whoops, leave this one uh, for this t this part. Um, next time around, uh, moving toward uh, terraforming. Uh, and of course, uh, continuing population growth and building a new dome and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, but mostly it's uh, research we need to uh, get what we need to uh, start raising the temperature and atmosphere. Because uh, that's the key. If we get the temperature and atmosphere uh, up high enough, like the atmosphere to 100%, the temperature up to a decent amount, uh, we end cold waves and we can open the domes. And once we can open the domes, uh, workers will uh, go to neighboring domes uh, without uh, concern for whether it's a remote dome. And they don't need to go through passages and all that jazz, right? So, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's all for this part. Uh, so, uh, next part should be up next week, as usual. Uh, and uh, I guess uh, stay healthy. Don't let the zombie apocalypse get you down. And see you next time.